All right. So welcome to the uh, September community meeting. This is the community meeting um, for the whole month of September. We're going to be going over a couple things that we have planned, as well as some new things that we've provided for the community and uh, future um, information. So first things first, if you have not figured it out already, version two of the website has rolled out. So check out squadops.gg. Make sure you clear your cache. You'll see the new version of the website. All information regarding V2, check the README. If you're having issues, check the README. If your problem is not solved after you have checked the README, then you can ping um, the correct people. Um, next, moving on. With the addition of V2, we have added strikes. Now, strikes are our way of keeping track of who registers for an event and does not show up. So if you register, register for an event, we expect you to be there. You can unregister if you cancel or if you, your plans, cha plans change and you can't be there. You can unregister and you won't get a strike. But if you are registered for an event and you do not show up, you'll get one strike. Now, if you get three strikes within a 30-day period, you're going to get put on probation, which will limit what ops you can enter for, an, for X amount of weeks. Okay? So when you get three strikes, you're you're essentially blacklisted from ops for a little while. Um, so that's a big thing we added. Um, the next thing that we're going to talk about is uh, whitelist. We're going to start rolling out starting tomorrow. Whitelist server one is going to be completely locked down to whitelist registrants. So if you have an account on the website, you will get into whitelist one. Whitelist two will remain 74 out of 80 public and six out of 80 reserved. So we're gonna test to see how popped we can get the whitelist one. It could fail miserably and we won't be able to pop it, in which case we'll revert back to whitelist two and pop whitelist two until we uh, revert whitelist one back. However, if the full duration whitelist does not work, we are going to switch to uh, certain days, certain days and times on the calendar where we will lock down that whitelist one completely to get more people in populated, organized, All right? Okay, next thing we're gonna talk about, a lot of new things. Next thing we're gonna talk about, the if you check the readme, you'll notice a brand new section called the broadcast package. This broadcast package is made for you guys. If you download this package, there is a readme file, an outro, an intro, and a lower thirds that you can use for free in any squad ops related video read the freaking readme file there's uh it'll tell you the guidelines behind using it and what we expect you to use it on as well as uh you know any any other information you could have read the readme file in the broadcast package so if you make videos um you can use that broadcast package with ccfn squad ops activities if you're a reg with uh public server events because you're playing on this pub, the squadops.gg, uh, or not public server, but the squadops.gg whitelist server. So if you have highlights from the whitelist server, you can use the broadcast package. If you have highlights or if you record the full duration of the ops, which I know a lot of you do, you can use the broadcast package for the private events as well. So if we've made these materials public for you to use. Uh, just use them correctly and follow the guidelines in the readme. But they're high quality, uh, high quality intro, outros, and lower thirds. Um, moving on from that, um, we've, we've, uh, we've essentially tested our first campaign. Many of you have tried that first campaign on Monday, yesterday. That was a Labor Day special event. We are happy to announce that we will be continuing development and the, uh, the process of implementing more campaigns and improving upon those campaigns. So campaigns will become a staple within squad ops in the foreseeable future. Um, the next big thing I want to talk about internally is squad uh, ops tactics and training squad uh, small unit leadership is now completed and we are rolling out the initial training um, to the instructors this month. So hopefully you'll see, uh, you'll see the first event sessions for SUL next month as we finish working out the kinks and as we get all the instructors certified to teach those courses. Um, so small unit leadership, the document and the material has been completed. We're finalizing all the kinks, getting the instructors on board. That'll get launched next month. Um, a reminder to all regulars that uh, you need to, uh, you're wearing the ops tag, you need to represent the ops tag appropriately. Um, we've had a couple um, 
incidents. And we just remind not only our ops regulars, but even those that participate in our events um, who are looking to become regulars, make sure you, uh, you know, you, you, you are professional and mature when you handle certain situations, you know, don't stoop to other people's levels. Um, make sure you guys are, you know, being outstanding members of the community. Uh, moving on from that, we have some interesting stuff, mod dev side of things. Uh, we are finally working on putting that mod package together. We're making a lot of progress. We've, uh, messed around with a lot of the blueprints regarding, uh, sold the soldiering, um, aspects like, uh, UI elements and stamina and, and all, all the, that good stuff. We're also working on creating, um, custom maps and that's coming along pretty well as, uh, um, because 4.6 updated the SDK. So a lot of new stuff on the mod side of things that will be coming out. And uh, that's all good and great. We're working on something internally. It should be released next month or the month after that. Um, it's another kind of event, but I think you guys will be uh, pretty interested in it. It's going to come out in about a month or two. Um, so more information on that uh, as it comes. Uh, but we have a new kind of event planned in addition to our campaigns, which we will be improving and rolling out uh, within this month and the next month. Uh, let's see what else we got. If you have not already joined the Steam group for Squad Ops, check the readme. The Steam group is in there. If you join the Steam group, you'll get notified of when our servers go live, as well as any other important updates. Uh, that'll ping you through Steam, and I know everyone here uses Steam, so uh, you'll never miss an update there. Uh, as far as um, as far as admin pings and uh, community pings, make sure you're pinging those people properly in the correct channels with the correct amount of information. Right? Don't just ping admin and leave it blank. Don't ping admin and off topic. Like, make sure that when you do those pings, you're being as um, like S O T T A B C S. You're keeping as accurate, brief, and, and um, concise as possible. Right. That way, the admins can do their jobs efficiently uh, without any, you know, other in lacking of information, other other, other issues. Um, do, 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 do. I think that covers everything new in this month. Uh, the V2, all that good stuff. A lot of stuff happened, guys. This is a big, big community meeting. So a lot of cool stuff came out. Um, remember to unregister if you're registered, if you're not showing up, because otherwise you'll get striked. Um, ah, yes, with V2, we are now accepting donations. Donations go towards server costs and just general costs that Squad Ops has. Um, the most notable being uh, Restream and server costs. Those are our two biggest costs right now. Uh, so just for a little bit of transparency on that, um, of where your donations are going. Uh, V2, for those of you who are wondering, is not done yet. We still have a lot design and system-wise that we do plan on adding over time. But currently, uh, we are just getting the initial system out with the registration so we can have that tool for our events. Um, yeah, as you may notice, let's, let's just take a look at Squad Ops, um, the website. In the registration section, for everyone that's, that's missed it or does not know. So we now can register by sections. Uh, sections being like commands, squad leaders, event admins, commentators, special guests, and then the confirmed. So um, you can see clearly who's going to command for that event, who's going to squad lead for that event. The event admins are our team that manages the uh, briefing, the general briefings of squad ops, as well as making sure that while the uh, events are going on. There's no funny business. There's no glitching. They're constantly around making sure that nothing is going wrong. And if someone does need to be removed from the server, they are there to handle it. Um, commentators, obviously, for our squadops.gg stream on Twitch and YouTube. And then our special guests, uh, these are anyone from uh, media or develop, uh, actual squad devs, just so you guys have more uh, understanding of what those sections are. And then we go through confirmed and then waitlisted as usual. Um, let me see what else. Um, I think that covers everything new. Covers pretty much everything new. Um, 
we are working on squad ops merch and working on a vendor for that so stay tuned more squad a dedicated squad ops merch uh options are going to be coming out soon and once again those go towards server costs and other tool costs um that we have currently um yeah i mean i think that's pretty much it from our side of things uh, we're going to take this time. This is probably the most important part of the meeting where you guys can type out your questions or your concerns or your suggestions into the general chat, and we will address them uh, one by one and make sure that, you know, we're getting that kind of interaction with the community, making sure that you guys are getting the information you need. You guys are getting your questions answered. You guys are getting your feed put um, input. So let's uh, let's do that right now. Any prereqs for that new training? Yes, for small unit leadership, you need to have passed Squad Ops SO, uh, SOTT Basic, SOTT AWS, Advanced Weapons, uh, Advanced Weapon Systems, and uh, SOTT Vehicle Training. Those three you need to have passed in order to take small unit leadership. So you need to you would need to uh, essentially take all the Squad Ops courses. And just for a little more information on SUL. SUL will be the first Squad Ops pass or fail training event where you will not get certified just for showing up and going through the motions. There is a pass and fail for small unit leadership. Okay. Whether or not we roll this out into our previous uh, pass or fail into the previous um, SOTTs has yet to be determined, but uh, there will be actual pass and fails for SUL. So does that mean non-regs will be able to squad lead for events? Yes, if they pass all the training. If they get through basic AWS and vehicles and pass SUL, um, they will be able to squad lead. Will that cert be needed to play as an FTL? No, but it is highly recommended. Anyone else have any questions? With a community this large, I find it weird that the server depops sometimes at around 9 p.m. I know the announcement that late are an idea, but few have seen, uh, but the few I've seen after 9:30 have filled the server up. Um, so yeah, we've actually uh, that this was brought up in our staff meeting, which was you know an hour earlier than this meeting. We're looking to uh, see what we can do to continue popping the servers. Um, but yeah, we're, we're that is uh, that is a topic that's currently on the table for discussion within the admin team right now. So um, don't worry, Silent, we're looking into it. Uh, things we can expect in the new course. Uh, let's see. Booga's not here yet. Oh, fuck. Um, essentially, it's going to be, as the course says, small unit leadership. You're going to have lecture, and then you're going to have prac apps or practical application uh, run-throughs and tests. Um, so you're going to have a, both an equal balance of lecture and and certain things you need to be looking out for as a squad leader and then you're going to be putting those things into practice it follows a very generic kind of um path that our current sotts go where you know you get the lecture then you get the hands-on um as far all right so uh, as far as the specifics of what is in the course we're not going to really reveal that yet as we're still uh we're going to roll through with the uh instructors and make sure everything is perfect before we announce any specifics in the course um so a squad unit uh, small unit leadership will be like aws where it's not required yeah so if you take squad unit a uh, small unit leadership it is required to squad lead within ops. It is recommended for fire teaming, uh, fire team leading. So if you take SUL, you uh, you can squad lead. Um, but if you take SUL, you are more likely to get picked for FTL when when the SLs are ask, asking for FTLs. If you have that SUL cert, you're more likely to get picked for that FTL role. <clears throat> Having a problem hearing anything in general chat. First time. Uh... Not sure what's wrong. Can someone help, help flame while I uh, push on here? Is there any potential of tracking in-game stats as far as KD team score win loss? Yeah. So, Ray, this is actually something we are looking for either the squad devs to add or for our own mod devs to add some some kind of form of squad API so we can track stats, track kind of uh, statistics um, that we can list 
at a certain time. Of course, this is way far in the future after we get mod dev support and after we finish our essential mod dev uh, projects right now. But we do want to have something like that. That is on the list of features that we would like to create. Any word on the next cycle of trainees? Where do you need help the most? So as of right now, we're chewing through a backlog of trainee apps. Um, so we're pretty good for right now. For right now, we're, we're rolling through a couple of trainee cycles. Um, but as we, uh, we had, uh, we've had a lot of stuff happen within all the teams with V2 rolling out and everything. So everyone's kind of been kind of backlogged, but we are getting through them. Um, and we're sorry for the delay. We know some of you have been waiting for answers on your apps. Uh, we apologize for the long wait. Uh, we're just dealing with a lot of updates and uh, changes right now. Will we ever see a low pop high FPS server? Um, there was one before. We're still we're in the middle of fixing our server host situation. Um, so as soon as we get that all nailed out, we'll have an official list of uh, current updated servers that we're running. Right now, it's whitelist one and whitelist two, um, and then our event servers. Uh, so just stand by. We're just in the middle of a big transition right now across the entire squad ops board. So as we get updated you'll get more and more things nailed down. <clears throat> um, what's in the AWS training? AWS stands for Advanced Weapon and Tactics, or Advanced Weapon Systems, I'm sorry. Adva advanced Weapon Systems. And in AWS training, you learn how to use the SAW, Grenadier Kit, HMGs, um, LAT, all the, all the specialty roles. Um, you'll learn more about how to use those effectively and uh, deploy those when you're, when you're playing. Um, first time on here is there any training required to hop into a server as a normal player nope there is zero training required right now to hop into the server as a normal player uh if you register on the website though you do get a free reserve slot um and then uh if you're new to squad in general i highly recommend taking the basics course um Geralt says, I have a suggestion for a mod operation. Who should I talk to? I want to help to you. Some friends and I are amateur game devs. Awesome. So if uh, you want to talk about uh, mod operations, I would hit up Hamlet and then uh, either Hamlet or Xbit or Hutch. Any of those three right now, you can send your mods or your operation ideas. Why, uh, do you have a squad ops marketing team? so they can get the name out to everyone that plays squad not just some yeah we do have a team that is focused on um reaching more viewers a wider audience sunny so don't worry about that we're working on that um arc little bit new here is there any way to donate to help out in some way didn't see anything in the readme just a bit curious yeah if you head over to squadops.gg there's a big yellow donate button at the top right um How do I get to where I can be a reg? I would start off by reading the uh, the uh, read me because at the bottom it tells you what you could uh, be to be a reg. Um, we basically look for someone who stands out in the community, been around, and is professional and mature. So make sure you're around and you're a good guy. And uh, if you if you're a good enough guy and you're around enough, um, your name will come up. Anyone else have any questions? Can non-ops guys become SLs for ops? Yes. As soon as small unit leadership comes out, if you have passed basic AWS vehicles and SUL, you will be able to uh, squad lead as a non-ops. The rules before briefing, uh, uh, before not take an hour long, uh, has there been a consideration in using the theorems between roll call and official start time? Yeah, so we actually have already addressed this, Silent. I'm not sure if you noticed. Um, but our solution was to do the operation briefings uh, or the, the actual rules briefings in-game. So you saw, we've, we do it when we have the staff to do it because it requires two uh, community event staff. Um, but it essentially shortens the time to set up in half because we have two people doing it. So we've already started doing it. We're going to start doing it more with the commu uh, community event admin team. Um, 
but yeah, that's that's slowly getting rolled out. So we have seen that increase in time, and we are working on solutions to shorten it. Hamley, Hutch, or Xbit? Xbit's in the channel right now. All right. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, if you've missed it, uh, we have every event that we ever run is on the squadops.gg calendar. So if you're ever curious what event or training or whatever we're hosting, when it is, check out the calendar on squadops.gg. Yeah, truth as the uh the link right there. So we got about eight minutes left if anyone has any questions. Or suggestions or anything. Well, uh, Karma's waiting for some more questions coming. I do have a little uh, shameless plug I'm going to put through. Uh, so WebDev Team slash uh, starting to rebrand it to Technical Development Team since we do way, way more than just the website. Um, we are looking for uh, applicants. So we are taking uh, some more trainees. I want to bring on a few more people uh, sometime this September, hopefully by the end of the month, to get uh, uh, maybe hopefully between like four and six people on board to help out with some of the bot stuff that we do. We're developing our own forums. Um, we've got tons of tons of stuff. We recently just finished with this whole V2, which is actually a custom framework that we built and kind of essentially just an engine to run all of our stuff on. Uh, so if you have chops, we're heavy, heavy JavaScript stack. So if you work a lot with JavaScript or you want to learn or uh, you are good at just kind of plugging along and getting shit done, then Put in a staff app. Same thing goes for content creation. We're really looking for people who are good with video editing. So uh, if you're good with video editing, motion graphics, After Effects, things of that nature, feel free to drop in an application. Yeah, the staff app in README, but later. For those of us thinking about putting in updated or new staff apps, which teams need the most people and or will be taking more apps uh, lesser or sooner than later? Um, as we just said right there, uh, the, the development side of things as well as a uh, community event. How many people become regs each month? Uh, we don't have a quota or anything like that. Just whoever gets added gets added. Is there a possibility of meeting minutes being posted along with the recording uh, in case someone's on mobile or something? Um, this whole, uh, yeah, I mean, we can work on that. I can probably do that myself or see who, who's available to do that, but um, we'll have minutes posted. What are your plans in terms of expanding the public servers or are you planning that at all? Um, we're constantly looking at what kind of service we can provide to the community. Uh, one of the biggest things we are waiting for is mod support so we can host a custom server with the squad ops mod on it. Donations go towards our server costs, restream costs, any other technical systems costs um, right now. Anyone else have any questions? If we don't get a... No, so we host two events. So Drunk Seagull, we host two events on a certain day. On Thursdays, we have two, we have two events. 
that's just to accommodate two groups. So you aren't required to attend both. You just need to attend uh, one of those. It's for the convenience of the participants. There is a lot of people in here. Yeah, there was an announcement in the uh, in the announcements channel. Three of them, actually. <laughs> Are there any plans to start doing more operations during the month due to the increase in more people? Yeah, that's uh, that's on the that's on the docket mainly because uh, we want to also roll out campaigns without taking away from our standard ops. So uh, campaigns will most likely be hosted on another day of the week. So we are constantly looking to expand. <clears throat> will people with strikes be notified? Yes, you will be notified. You'll be notified directly by a staff member. Also, on that note, if you have like a great excuse, like your leg got ripped off by a tractor, we might be a little lenient. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> if you have a legitimate reason... I mean, it's three strikes, so if you're not mission missing them intentionally, you should be fine. But if you do have a legitimate um, reason why you could not make it, then uh, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think about adding for the Squad Ops mod, and will they be new models? Uh, the Squad Ops mod will mostly be pertaining to systems changes and UI changes to make this uh, the game feel... Uh, more hardcore and to allow us to run events smoothly in game instead of having to coordinate different programs outside of the game uh, to get them to work. For example, you know, Discord or whatever we need to do, um, where we plan on having a lot of systems in the uh, Squad Ops mod so that we can run just Squad and have the event po uh, posted from there. If you don't mind, how much has the Squad Ops community been growing? All right, let's look at some metrics. Do 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 do. Currently, we have almost 5,000 members in the Discord. We have 4,722 members on the Discord. Um, that's a lot of members. Um, as far as how many people we passed through basic, about 1,351 players have passed through basic. So that's, that's, that, that's a big number. A rather large number. Um, AWS, yeah, 400 through AWS. Let's see how many through vehicles, and then 300 through vehicles. Could we integrate campaigns with certain whitelist map rotations? Uh, that would be a little hard to do. Any more any leaks on the new type of event in addition to campaigns being planned? Uh, not currently. What kind of skill level is a content creation team looking for? Matt, are you going to handle that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so the biggest things that we are looking for at this moment uh, would be people who are really well-versed in video editing. I mean, I don't care what software you prefer, if it's, you know, um, Premiere or if you use Vegas or whatever, uh, as well as people who are very well-versed in after Effects, motion graphics, things of that nature. That's the biggest fields that we need right now um, more than anything. So that's our biggest bottleneck at this point. Can all the trainings be done in Promptu? Quirkly, you here? I'm guessing that's a negative. Negative. As of right now, Basic's the only course that we do uh, in Promptu. We can look at expanding that to other courses right now. Is there a possibility of two events at the same time in the future? Uh, most likely not. Most likely what we would do instead is uh, change that to um, have more events throughout the week rather, rather, than running, <laughs> rather than running two at the same time, we would run um, multiple more throughout the week. What do you need content creators for? Uh, someone drop the basic someone drop the basic trailer and stuff like that and off topic. 
Yeah, the basic trailer was linked in off-topic a little bit ago. If you scroll up, you can see that. Um, also, you know, we did a grinder teaser a few weeks back. Uh, we we're going to have other trailers and things that I'm not going to talk about yet uh, coming in the near future. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Um, so it's basically for things that are coming. Uh, but you can see a lot of the stuff that we've already done in the various places, like on our YouTube channel. And it did Tastic. Campaigns are essentially ops that are chained together and have a dependency and dynamic element uh, attached to them. So from one op to the next op to the next op, they all depend on each other and all dynamic depending on what happened in the previous operation. Is there a chance you could run vehicle training more often since it can only fit about 20 people in it? Yeah, I can talk to the uh, SOTD staff. So uh, just uh, we'll table that for now. Thank you for bringing up that concern. All right, uh, we're going to call it here. I'll take any last final questions. Um, so you have about 10 seconds to get any final questions in, and then we're going to call the meeting. Will the same people who participate in campaigns have the have reserved spot for next? Nope. You'll have to register for each event. Uh, how many leadership courses will there be? There will be one for small unit leadership. Currently, that's what we have planned. What do you guys think of medals? Uh, we actually already do something like that with the operational badges. Uh, we do look on uh, expanding upon that system in the future. Uh, no, uh, uh, we're mainly focused on squall, small unit leadership and then expanding upon our current growth um, in SOTT right now. No other courses are planned after SUL as of right now. Forums will be resed soon, TM. I think you skipped overnight in jail up there. No, 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 I, I answered that oh, one. Oh, you did? Okay, sorry. All right. Uh, helicopters, when they'll drop, will, of course, get their own SOTT. But since we have no idea how they're going to implement or when they're going to implement or what kind of features are going to come with the uh, helicopter um, update, we, we aren't really working on it right now. There's just too much that is um, unforeseen right now. We have more pressing things to deal with. Um, okay, awesome. Thank you so much for showing up to the uh, September community meeting. We really do appreciate you taking your time to come out here, catch up on all the updates, and get your questions answered. Uh, this is a very important part of Squad Ops, of you being a community member, being able to interface with us, and being able to get your feedback, concerns, suggestions, et cetera, in with the staff. Um, it's very important that we maintain that transparency. But yeah, I'm going to thank everyone for coming out. We're going to be closing up the meeting here. I want to say thank you to all the staff members, all the managers uh, for doing what they do, dedicating their time and volunteering their time and work to Squad Ops to push Squad Ops into the future. Uh, we have some bigger things planned. We're always working on improving our current systems. We've got the new website out. We've got a whole bunch of new stuff out, uh, the broadcast package. All the coolest things are coming out now. Um, so make sure that you watch the video. Uh, on the YouTube channel if you missed the beginning of this meeting. It will be posted to the youtube.com slash squad ops YouTube channel. So if you missed this meeting, you can catch it there. Um, we do plan on continuing our current systems. Nothing's getting removed right now. But uh, yeah, adding more and more as uh, SULs getting added, a whole bunch of web dev stuff just got finished. Um, we're messing around with the whitelist servers trying to see what we can provide for you guys. Um, but yeah. Thank you all for coming out, all the staff. Thank you for your time and work. And all the community members, thank you so much for giving us your feedback and sticking with us. And uh, yeah, being here to play the ops. All right, we're going to call this meeting. Google. 
He went AFK. He said he was probably going to have to be away from his computer, but he'll stop the recording when he comes back. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Yeah, this is the end of the meeting. Thank you all for coming out. We really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, till next time, guys. 100 emojis.